So I'm going to call the Arlington uh, uh, Police Station, uh, Ca uh, Officer Cassidy again with Internal Affairs. I posted a video of calling him last week. I'm going to try to get an update to see where we're at on holding the uh, officers that Pete Ayer um, got on video accountable. Breaking parking laws. Excuse me. Uh, hello, Lieutenant Cassidy. This is Adam with uh, Cop Lock. I believe we talked last week. Hey, Adam. How are you? Pretty good. How about yourself? Oh, not too bad. Great. I, I, I want to be... Okay, sir. Um, sir, I, I just want to let you know that I'm going to audio and video record our conversation for an update on my blog post. So I just want you to know that I'll be recording in this right now. Okay. Okay. So, um, go ahead. Uh huh. Uh, I'm gonna send you an email because I you want me to send you an email. I'm gonna send you an email today with the well with the extension. Uh, it's gonna take a couple more days and then I should have that out to you as far as the FOIA request for the policy that you asked for. Okay. Um, that's for the investigation right here when we spoke last week. Um, I told you that we were sent down to our operations division, and once they completed, then I would uh, inform you of the outcome of, of the investigation. So that should be. Do you feel that it's fair for officers to get this second investigation by other cops, such as yourself, when like a normal person who would be like videotaped or, or seen by an officer breaking a parking law would just be ticketed and would have his day in court to like claim his innocence, you know, or, or be found guilty by his peers? I mean, shouldn't that be the, the case here? I was just asking, I understand what you're saying, I get the process. Do you think it's fair that citizens are treated one way? But it is different than how you investigate the uh, behavior of a citizen. Well, I appreciate it. I look forward to your email, and I appreciate uh, you being in contact uh, with me. So. Uh, I'll be playing contact with Mr. Slayton, but I will get a hold of him and um, do the same for him. Let him know the outcome of the investigation. But I will um, email you today or first thing tomorrow um, just uh, some information in reference to the extension of the FOIA request, and then I should have it done this week, okay? Okay. Thank you very much, sir. All right. You're welcome. Good luck. So yeah, they they see uh, police as their own employees, and that they're they're going to handle that matter. He he obviously didn't want to comment on whether or not he felt they're treated more fairly or they have more rights because they have a badge. I'm presuming that he doesn't want to get into that because he feels that uh, that's correct. I mean, anybody else would be visually caught uh, uh, breaking a law by by an officer seeing it or multiple people calling in an officer and telling them they've seen it. This person would be ticketed. That officer would say, I don't want to hear your excuses, you have your day in court. Um, but with police, they don't do that with their own. They don't ticket them and then let them go through the justice system and proclaim their innocence or be found guilty by their peers. Um, instead, they have other cops investigate the, the situation further and then decide themselves if they want to do anything about it. A as you've seen in the uh, video I posted with the DA of Arlington, only cops can ticket themselves. So seems to be a 30-day process to find out if this officer can get a $15 parking ticket for clearly breaking the law caught on video via Peter. Thanks.